Hey guys, Ed here. Let me ask you something. What do you think is one of the most important parts of a trade plan that is either A, overlooked, or B, completely forgotten? Got the answer yet? It's your profit targets. And not just any target, but your first target. The whole reason why we're here is to make money. And if that wasn't the case, we'd be trading in a sum all day. And in this video, I have a great lesson I'm going to show you on why it's important to take your profits as dictated in your plan. So without further ado, follow me and let's get into the lesson. So before we get into the lesson, I want you to take a good look at this right here. If you haven't seen the recent video on Trick Trade's YouTube channel, how to use a stop loss to enter a stock, you need to go watch that shit right now because it's almost a carbon copy of the ticker used in that lesson. Anyway, moving on. Why is it important to take profits? Well, it's the whole reason we're here, right? I shouldn't have to explain it, but unfortunately it's a common issue. Nothing in life is a guarantee, guys, not even in trading, which leaves no room for greed in this industry. Now for this lesson, the chart was a swing, but it can be applied to day trading as well. The concept of taking profits is universal guys. Just the profit targets in the trade plan will vary, but your first target in your plan is, and I repeat is the absolute most important period. Why? I'll show you right now. So I know I said this was a swing chart, but for visuals, I'll kind of give you a day trade representation real quick. So forget about the timeline shit here. Forget about the dates, the times and all that shit, right? Just, just bear with me on the chart. So let's pretend you were looking to get in on Boeing here, right? Because that's what we're looking at. And you didn't get in here on this level, right? and it popped up and then came down and you decided to get in. Now let's pretend this is your first target and your trade plan said you wanted to ride it up to here, right? That's a good trade. I mean, I'm Boeing. I mean, that whole thing right there is almost three points. And then from here to here is almost two points, right? That is a good trade. You can more than make your nut for the day on this right here. Now it doesn't seem like a lot, but on a name like Boeing, trust me, the profits are good guys, especially on these, these pushes here. But let's get into the swing part, right? Now this was a first target and you could see, regardless of where you got in, it hit first target. I mean, it, I mean that's 40, 50 cents. To me, that's fucking first target. That's close enough, right? But let's pretend you didn't take any profits. Now remember, I said first targets are your most important. Now let's see what happens if you didn't take your profits. So we'll move it over a little bit. Oh, it dipped down. You get a little panicky. You're like, shit. I didn't fucking take any profits. So you're holding. And we'll move it over a little bit more. And oh, it dipped down more. And then, oh, it's popping back up, pop back up. Now right here, you definitely should be taking profits, right? You can see it's wicky, but this is where a lot of traders that struggle with taking profits freeze, right? Because this is what happens. They see it didn't come back up as high. It didn't have the, the nuts to get back higher. And now they're like, fuck, man, I should have taken profits there. Now it's popping up here. And from here to here, not close enough. So you keep holding it. And we all know what happened over the last couple days, guys. The market finally decided to pull back. And there she goes. There she goes. Oh, man. Oh, that's fucking dirty. Dirty. Yeah, that's really dirty right there, guys. 
no, I don't have to keep moving this further. We all know what happened and continued over the course of the last couple days. But just for visuals, what do you think happened to your profits? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So that's the video guys, and I hope you liked it, and I really hope you learned something. Remember, if you truly wanna learn how to trade proper stocks from an incredible, and I mean absolutely incredible teacher, head to tricktrades.com. And if you wanna pad your account while you learn the trade, head to revolutionspring.com. And make sure to check us out next week, because I'm gonna show you how Bruno cost me $1,500. So until next week, this is Ed signing off.